reached out to Dan to see if it was something that he'd be willing to discuss. We all know you didn't reach to nobody, bro. They reached out to you, judging how comments are turned off and dislikes are disabled by owner. Dan, how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I'm okay with some creepy shit, but I'm okay. So why is there a half bike on the wall? Whatever. That's some fucking Hollywood bullshit. And I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. This interview looks like a bad SNL skit with a fucking bubble head. You know, it's so weird. Obviously, it's scripted. Dan, talk to me about the writer's room. From what I saw, not cool. No. No, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, but if I can cut right to the chase, let me just say. You didn't cut anybody off. This man's reading of script so fucking hard. The thing that should be cut off is that fucking beaver on your face. Come on, show us this voluptuous double chin, you little dumpling. Well, there goes my fucking job in Hollywood. This ain't cool, man. We're talking about some creepy shit that happened on the happened on set. Ain't cool, cuz. From a practical jokes that went too far, and um, that was wrong. And that, that was because, you know, I was an inexperienced producer i was immature wouldn't happen today but um i'm just really sorry it happened that's what happens when you work on kids shows so many times this man thinks that these type of scripted apologies or whatever works on adults i was wrong You're like oh yeah that shit makes total sense he apologized he said he was wrong you know me you've been on my set yeah i know you motherfucker so there's specific things that you were doing Sh sure i would um snap at people sometimes mm -hmm. I would be snarky when I could have given them a nicer answer. Um, Did she say nice things about me? Because I will tase her if necessary. Uh-oh. I have the taser. We haven't had to use it in a long time. But I said lots of nice things. So I said nice things about you, too. Oh. That's going to get on TV. What? That's going to get on TV. <laughs> We're talking about some creepy shit here, fat bro. Hobnocker, when a guy hits you in the face with his penis. And what's with the constant kids and fucking feet? Someone cut tomorrow right on the bottom of your foot, take a pic and use Summon Cut Saturday. We'll RT and follow you on until our fingers get sore. I'm a potato. She was coached to do this. Oh, this fucking weird dude. I would not give people the time that they needed. I would be in too big a hurry to get onto. What's this interview about? Interviewer doesn't even call out the shit that happened or whatever. Let's talk about the massages. Okay. Watching the content yesterday, it was disturbing. It was wrong. He took the one of the least creepier shit he could do, still creepy, and they, he talks about massages like uh, that was the only problem. He literally made Ariana Grande splash water on her face while she was laying on her fucking back on the bed. You made an actress get shot with a fucking lotion on her face. You made an actress try to milk a fucking potato. Because we all know you yourself look like a fucking potato. Teen who sold cookies but played the sketch seemingly referring to drug dealing. He said he was referred to as a piece of charcoal. What the fuck? Some of those jokes are inappropriate for children. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? <sighs> what do you mean? I love kids. Maybe a little too much. The docuseries then explores another convicted sexual predator who had worked on set as a dialogue coach named Brian Peck. He was convicted for sexual abuse in the same year as Handy. All you need is one look at this fucking guy and you already know. Peck had a signed self-portrait painting of serial killer John Wayne Gacy at his home, which he bragged about and even had a collection of letters from the killer clown. Ah, yes. He was a fan of a clown murderer who killed boys and sexually assaulted them. Then this dude only got 16 fucking months and was registered as a sex offender. And then Disney said, you know what? Like, let's hire this guy. I'm fucking done, dude. Drake's mom, a lovely woman who I stay in contact with this day, she came to me at the time and she said, Dan, I'm not good with words like you are. And would you help me with my speech for the judge? And I said, of course. That what did. the fuck? And I've seen better acting in YouTube skits in 2007. And he ended up going to prison and serving his time. 
the way he said that here i don't like because it seems like he's bragging that because of him and what he said he ended up going to prison and service time and the body language here like yeah i did that like he's proud of it 